Hello everybody, Sanier, engineer, MBA and investor. In today's video, I want to talk about how the FDA has approved CRISPR when it comes to beef. I want to talk about all of that in this video. Now, before we jump into this video, you guys know the drill, like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button, really does help the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe. Okay, so the video, a title video here is a little bit misleading, I agree. But you guys know how clickbait works, you guys know how titles work. Uh, the FDA has approved the first CRISPR cows for beef, right? And basically, we are now going in an era where we will have beef on our shelves in the next two years where it could potentially be CRISPR modified, right? So on the left side here, you see a slick coat cattle uh, versus the right side where you see a non-slick cattle. And the idea is that earlier this month, the FDA has approved genome editing cattle for use in meat production, right? So, and the, the, the slick thing is basically where there's a genome editing call, well, with CRISPR, you can use to breed animal with specific traits, right? So in order to have those, that left side, this picture here, that specific trait of a slick, which is what they call it, slick, um, it is done through genome editing, specifically through CRISPR, and this has been approved by the FDA. And I do want to make a, a mention that this is not the first time that the FDA has approved CRISPR when it comes to animals. We've seen it with across other animals like goats, chickens, pigs. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it here in this article, but I do have the article from the FDA official announcement. But I do want to make a couple points here. First of all, farmers plant that plan to use PRL slick Cattle will not have to register with the administration, right? And also, also, they, the FDA approves similar gen genomic modifications in salmon, goat, chicken, rabbit, and more recently, pigs. And the pigs part was very important for our xenotransplantation that we talked about a few weeks ago, a few months ago, actually, early January. Um, but the PRLR slick cattle are the first to receive an official low risk determination for enforcement discretion, right? Meaning that the administration deemed there are no practical differences in the final product meat made by genome edited cattle and conventionally bred cattle. I do want to go on the official release here from the uh, FDA and the reason why I'm looking at this type of video is for a couple of reasons, right? First of all, CRISPR has grown so much in the last year alone. I mean, I talked about it in our video last week where, you know, we talked about the previous year, how it's been since uh, we started publishing these video, lots of progress in the CRISPR landscape. And this is one of those progress, right? And to me, this is how it's going to look like when CTX001 from CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex gets FDA approved. You're gonna get this press release from the FDA saying they have now allowed for the first time in ever in human therapeutics, a CRISPR based drug therapy. And this is how it's gonna look like, right? This is how it starts, right? And right now it's still with animals like we saw with chicken, with pigs, with goats, and with, um, and, and, and now with, with obviously with uh, beef, right with, with cattle and I just think it's amazing how uh, it is amazing how we are entering in this new era right and this is actually a great segue into one of our commenters in our community uh, Renan who actually talks a lot about why these companies are not tackling this space right when it comes to vegetation when it comes to animals and you know, there's a side of me that totally agrees with Renan's point, right? Because, you know, you're getting the FDA approving goat, chicken, salmon, rabbit, and now pigs, and obviously now cattle slash beef. 
And there are opportunities out there, right? There are opportunities for all these companies to venture into. You know, we know Kathibu Biosciences, they hold certain patents when it comes to vegetation and animals. But the other side of me is, well, look, these companies' mission statements, specifically CRISPR companies like CRISPR Therapeutics, Beam Therapeutics, their mission statement is to eradicate human diseases, right? Human diseases. So what better way to eradicate human diseases than tackling human diseases specifically, right? And going through animals and vegetation to me is another route. You know, I think although people think, okay, it's CRISPR, this must be, you know, this must be all bundled in the same basket. Unfortunately, that's not how the FDA works. Um, or fortunately, right? You know, it's, it's just because it works on mice does not mean it'll work on humans. Uh, you know, there's unintended consequences. There are other side effects you want to watch out for. I mean, it's a great leading factor indicator, but it does not mean that you can come up with conclusions, right? And my point here is that you have to focus on what your mission statement states, right? And if your mission statement, such as CRISPR therapeutics and TLA, beam therapeutics, caribou biosciences, if it's all about human diseases, then you have to hit where it matters, right? And this is exactly what CTA001 is doing. And it's unfortunate because I can see a huge opportunity here, you know, putting aside just, you know, the moral and slash ethics side of things, you know, financially, I think it's a perfect opportunity. Imagine if Kaibu Bioscience is just like spin off, like, you know, this type of business, you know, and they partner up with like Beyond Meats or, 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 or Impossible Burgers, you know, to look at, you know, alternative ways to, you know, have meats, uh, non uh, vegetable meats, you know, for vegans and so on. I don't know how you call them, but that'd be an interesting way, you know, using CRISPR. Uh, but now I'm just going on a, on a tangent here. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. So great news for the landscape. I'm happy that the FDA went forward with this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it. Uh, cattle genome editing beef cattle after safety review has been approved by the FDA. Amazing news. Like this video fan value. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on a beautiful Sunday. Thank you.